Hello everyone, 안녕하세요 여러분. This is my home and today I'm going to give you a little tour both outside and inside. It's a beautiful spring day which I've been waiting for a long time. So let's begin. Okay, so first here is the street, across the street, the houses on my street, an ironwood tree, a crepe myrtle, another ironwood tree. And I'll walk a little bit so we can have a good view of the house. And there we are. It's a cute little orange flower there and a very old bush. And another very old bush here. And just a quick peek this is the garage, so the cars can go in here. And close to the front door, we have two rhododendron bushes in two different colors. They're very lovely this year. And this is a camellia bush. Just a few flowers left there and a few bluebells left down here. And some more bushes here. Another one of the orange flowers here. And the side of my house. So it's a concrete foundation and a brick house with wood on the interior and wood inside in, a chimney, a second floor, and the roof. And some bushes along the side too. And this is another rhododendron, but it still has a few more weeks before the flowers will come out. And here's the back view of my house. So what's this blue tarp? Well, unfortunately we've had some leaking problems over the years. It was fixed about 15 years ago, but then again the basement started leaking. So uh, my dad put a big blue tarp to prevent water coming in on the rainy days because it rains so much here in Seattle. Unfortunately, that tarp really got shredded and ripped over the years, and thousands and thousands of these pieces of microplastic were all over my lawn, and I have spent hours and days picking up thousands of them. I've gotten most of them, but there's still a few, like around the dirt here and around this basement area here. But all the ones on the lawn, on the grass, it's all gone. It's all clean here, fortunately. Okay, and looking back at my house again, we can see the dining room and the living room, and the kitchen right here, and there's the back door. And then we have the upstairs, the guest room, the bathroom, and my room. And along the side of the backyard, we have a very old fern bush, which has a few new fern fronds coming out. A very, very old lilac tree, which has been cut a few times. So it's coming back to life. It's very small, but it is old, but it's coming back to life. This second one I showed you uh, on a, another video, which I'll cut in here, but here is a new tree with an old tree that died. Okay, welcome to my backyard. Here we see three lilac trees. The one in the middle, unfortunately, died, was cut too much and died, so I planted a new one. 
The one on the left was cut but recovered, and the white lilacs haven't bloomed yet. And the one on the right is almost at peak bloom, and they are purple lilacs. And there's a lot of bluebells uh, on the ground cover near the grass. And looking up in the distance, you can see some of the Cascade Mountains with snow on them. And the third lilac, these were blooming about a month ago, which you'll see in the other video. And the rose bush coming back to life. And there's a few other bushes here. And an incredible view of the mountains in the distance. And then there is the back backyard, the steep back slope which about a month ago was full of bluebells and flowers, but now the ivy is creeping up. We have an alder tree, a red alder, a very tall tree. This is native to the area, as well as a madrona tree, which was had ivy crawling all over it, but I had the ivy cut, and now it's starting to recover. And the main tree in my backyard is this magnolia tree. A lovely magnolia with white flowers, which were in bloom about a month, a month and a half ago. And now the leaves are bright green. And beside it, another old lilac, which hasn't been cut, so it's very tall and has amazing flowers with a beautiful smell. Under the magnolia tree, it's kind of like a little meadow back here. These tiny, tiny little blue flowers. Some other assorted plants. These are yellow roses which are cousins of regular roses, but they are called yellow roses. And recently I discovered a brand new baby tree right here. So look at that little tree coming to life between all the other trees. And it has a few new uh, needles coming out. So in about 20, 30 years, this is going to be a very tall tree. Okay, let's keep going around the house. The grass is a little long, but I've been doing a lot of work with uh, picking up the plastic, cutting things in the back, and a few other things. Oh, some more of these orange flowers.
And here's one of the first problems in my house. Uh, I noticed that the gutters on a heavy rainy day, they weren't capturing the water and the water was overflowing. So I had to put a garbage can and a bucket to capture the water. Otherwise it was leaking in the basement and that was not good. So I'll have to get that fixed soon. Here's a few rose bushes along the side. And another view of the front with the huge rhododendrons. A little view of the neighborhood. front door. We have the mailbox here. It goes inside to the bedroom. And the doorbell. I don't know if you could hear that, but I'll press it again when the door is open. There is also a knocker here, an old-style knocker. So welcome to the inside. Now there is no place to put my shoes, as this is not a Korean-style house. So I take off my shoes right here, and I stack them here, or I put them in a closet when I'm not using them. Oh, the doorbell. The doorbell is that little thing right there with three chimes. And I'll ring the doorbell one more time. That's a nice sound, right? And when you want to see who's here, there's a the little peephole. And okay, so welcome to the inside of my house. It's kind of tight here at the front door. There's the stairs to go upstairs. And I have my masks right here. Uh, if you're watching this in the far future, uh, this is 2022, May 2022, and we're kind of at the end of the coronavirus pandemic. So that's why we still have the masks. And I'm still cleaning a lot that my parents left over. So this is some old medicine bottles that I need to throw away in the medicine disposal. And you'll see a few other piles of things scattered around the house, but I'm getting through it little by little, and this is much cleaner than it was a few months ago. So here is the first closet. And this is a very deep closet, basically for coats. We have some sleeping bags back there too. This has two rows. And we have that plastic there to cover the coats. Not much to see here, but it is an old-style closet. And a few old decorations there. Okay, so turning right, this is the main living room. And here we are. Painting, sofa, coffee table with a few decorations, my mom's old chair, our TV, our very old microwave, which has a few VCR tapes with old World Cups recorded on it, a few other things that I have to go through, the chimney or the fireplace with the screen door, the summer screen, which I can put on the front screen when the summer starts. 
here's where our stereo system used to be. We used to have a record player on top, cassette player on the bottom, and then the stereo in the middle. But right now, just the records and CDs are there and a few decorations. And here's the view out the front window. And I'll open that just a little bit. There's the main view outside. This is where the heat comes out of. Okay, we have an electric furnace in the basement and the air flows through the house and comes out through these registers. This fireplace, we only used it twice in my life, I think, so I don't think I'll use it again. I'll have to figure out what to do with it, make it a nicer decoration. And this old hanging lamp, and the table lamp. And a lot of the decorations are my parents, and uh, eventually I've gotten donated a few. I'll keep a lot definitely, but I might still donate some more. And here's the view out the back window, the backyard, the magnolia tree, all the other backyard bushes and trees, and in the distance, Fremont, the Ballard Bridge, and the Cascade Mountains. It's a nice view. And here is the dining room area. Since my dad passed away last year, almost a year ago now, I've kept his ashes here with a few uh, memorable pictures. And I'll go take his ashes to bury them in a few months in California. But for now, it's a good resting place with a good view. And the view out the dining room window. We have a chandelier here. I recently replaced all the light bulbs with LED candle style light bulbs, which are pretty cool. And then here is another painting. I always liked this painting when I was a kid. The cheese and the knife and the onion and the pot. And here we have an old phone, our, uh, our regular phone, which comes to the city phone network. And what are these? What are these things? I'll show you a little later on. They're quite special. And I'm not sure what this is called in English, but it holds a lot of glass and cups and mugs and crystal things. A display case, I guess it's called. And our shredder and uh, stuff to recycle, papers to recycle. And here's the kitchen. So the kitchen window is open. There's a view there. A few things on the table, including my laptop and a lot of other paperwork that I have to go through. The back door. And the microwave. A very old dishwasher, which also we only used like five times when I was growing up. And the view to the neighbor's house. And the sink. And unfortunately, I can't use this sink anymore because the pipes are clogged and they look like this. There's a big problem going on here. So I'm not washing the dishes in the kitchen sink, unfortunately.
Here's stuff to compost. And a few cabinets here. A lot of drawers. And our classic range and oven. And refrigerator. Oh yeah, a little Korean decoration there too. Some fresh fruit. More cabinets. Avocado, tomatoes, some bread. And here's that classic, the controls for the classic range and oven. This has probably been here since the 1960s, so a long, long time. The small oven isn't working right now, but the large oven does work pretty well. Some storage space under here for all the baking supplies and aluminum foil. In this drawer, a lot of the kitchen supplies. Spoons and knives and can opener and ice cream scoop. My grandfather's wine opener, which is very, very old. And a few other things. Under here, a lot more pots and pans. A lot of pans, actually. A machine to make arepas from Venezuela quickly. And a kettle for water, hot water. This drawer is full of paperwork that someday I'll have to go through. Stuff that my parents saved. Some 